Anthony Tannis, welcome to Smart Money. Here at CSR Bradford, you're using waste glass and turning it into insulation products. What kind of glass are you using for that? Well, John, we can pretty much use any type of glass in the manufacture of glass. Well, um, we use bottle glass, uh, plate glass that's used in window manufacturing, as well as old disused windscreens. The only type of glass that we can't use is heat resistant glass, such as Pyrex. You've been doing this for some years now. What kind of research and development did it take to come up with this method of recycling waste glass? CSR Bradford has been manufacturing glass wool since 1934. Back in those days we were using slag wool, waste product from the steel industry to manufacture insulation. In the early 70s we started manufacturing glass wool. A lot of our technology comes from East of St. Gobain and for them and for us it was just a natural thing to use recycled glass. Instead of having to manufacture glass from sand and basic virgin materials, we were able to melt glass and use that in our process. Now you mentioned the virgin raw materials. Is there a financial benefit, an energy saving benefit from using recycled glass instead of using virgin raw materials? Yes there is John. The energy required to melt sand is considerably higher than that of um, just having to melt glass. So for us it makes a lot of sense to, to get recycled glass that's destined to, the, to go into landfill to put in our process. How many tonnes of recycled glass do you use every year and where does that come from? Without giving you too much information, we roughly use between 25,000 and 30,000 tonnes of crushed glass or recycled glass each year. We work closely with a local recycler, Campbelltown Recyclers. They source all their product, bottled glass and plate glass, crush it, make sure it has no contaminants and supply it to us. At your recycling facility, how do you turn waste glass in, into a high quality product? The glass is fed into a furnace that's operating about 1300 degrees. The molten glass is then poured into a spinner. Now, I know that sounds a bit complex, but if you ever have a look at the manufacturing of ferry floss, um, molten sugar is fed into a spinning wheel. It's got roughly about a thousand holes in it. The centrifugal force forces the glass through those holes, forming strands. The strands have binder applied to them, goes through the oven, that's cured, then cut to size. Each one of those bats that we produce has about 85% recycled material. There's often a perception that if a product has recycled content, it's somehow inferior quality-wise. But with your product, that's not the case, is it? No, that's not the case at all, John. The products we manufacture, whether we're using virgin material or recycled material, the product quality is identical. And finally, for companies who are thinking about using recycled materials in their products, what advice would you give them? Don't be afraid of using recycled material. Work closely with your supplier as we do. Um, ensure you don't have contaminants in the raw material stock that you're looking for and the finished product should be as good as using virgin material.